Hello everyone to this new series of videos in which we are going to have the hieroglyphic inscription upon the masterpieces of the Egyptian Museum at Tahrir Square. So in this video we are having the sarcophagus of Dagi, which is a famous masterpiece that you study in your curriculum. As you know that sarcophagus of Dagi um, is surrounded by hieroglyphic lines that distinguish the art or the style of sarcophagus in the 11th dynasty. We are having the first line which is presented on this side and we label it with number one. So the inscription on this side starts from the left to the right and as you see it has the Hetidiniso formula. Mainly we focus on um, the hieroglyphic inscription only. We are not going to go deeper to more information on the masterpiece so here the inscription starts with Hetip di Nisu in Bu Tibi Ju F Imi Wet Nip Ta Jesser Kurset Nifrit which means in English an offering which the king gives to God Anubis who is upon his mountain the one who is in the embalming tent the lord of the sacred land a beautiful burial and this is a new statement here the inscription continues as follows net gerit nether im Simit emented net emira ririt or ruit imachi dagi. And here is a very important note. In some books, they propose a different translation for the title emira ririt. They read it as emra kiririt and they translate it as in the mouth of the cave or cavern. This is not true, but Emira Ririt is a title that the vizier Dagi held along his other titles. So the correct reading is Emira Ririt, overseer of the gate. So the inscription continues and the rest of the translation would be that's in Necropolis, Gerit Nisr. Gerit Nether means necropolis. That's in the necropolis, which in the western desert, Semit Emented, that of the overseer, which is Emira, of the gate, the venerated one, Dagi. So that was the reading for this site of the sarcophagus. We are having now another side as you see here it's on the left this side has a part of the Hitib Dinisu formula and it starts with Birit Khru Ti Hankit Kawu Abdu Nit Sidjauti or Khitmit Sidjauti Biti Simr Wati Imachi Dagi. In English, that means an invocation offerings bread, beer, oxen, and fowl. That of the seal bearer of the king of Lower Egypt. Another translation for this title the treasurer of the king. So, the seal bearer of king of Lower Egypt, the unique friend, the venerated one, Dagi. The third side of this sarcophagus. As you see, it has also the Hatib Dinusu formula, but this time it addresses a different god. Here is God Osiris. It starts from the right to the left. Again, the readings, Hatib Dinusu, Aser, or Wasar or Wazir Nib 
جدو خنتي امنتيو نب ابجو برت خرو تي حنقت كاو ابدو نت امي and of course را would exist this in English means an offering which the king gives to God Osiris the lord of Buzeris and Buzeris is one of the cult centers of God Osiris in lower Egypt and it nowadays in Al Gharba governorate the second title of God Osiris is Khinti Imintiu which means the foremost of the westerners and westerners here indicates to the dead people another title follows Nib Abidju means the lord of Abidus and Abidus is another cult center for God Osiris and it exists nowadays in Suhaq governorate so here we find two main cult centers for the worship of God Osiris Berit Khuru an invocation offering bread beer oxen and fowl that of the overseer and here is the Ra the, the, the second part of Emira and again Emira Ririt or Ruit overseer of the gate so Ririt Emira Ririt Ir Hesisit or Hesit Nib if Ra Nib Imachi Dagi so overseer of the gate he who does what his lord favors every day the venerated one dog the fourth side of the sarcophagus on this side again berit khuru ti hanqit kawu abdu nit sajauti biti simir wati miri nib if imakhi dagi so as you remember that the ancient Egyptian knew the transposition for honorific intent and here he preceded Nib if before Mri just for uh, honorification the English translation is an invocation offering bread beer oxen and fowl that of the seal bearer of king of lower Egypt the unique friend the beloved one of his lord the venerated one dog the fifth side of the sarcophagus is the inner one which is barrier to number one but this time we are having the objects that are illustrated on the inner wall and these objects are mentioned in this phrase of text which is written in the heretic script so we, we could identify the object through the inscription and we start with these two green objects they are called padunu sinither which means balls or cones of incense so these were walls of incense that used in fumigation this object is famous and obvious as well it's described as waris imash waris imash meaning a headrest of cedar wood so the ancient Egyptian also mentioned the material from which this object was made out these objects are mirrors this mirror is called the which means a silver mirror while the other one is called which means a mirror of copper or a copper mirror this is the wasikh kula but here it is mentioned with wasikh im shibin which means mixed wasikh kula and the mixed here indicates to the variegation or the variation of colors here as you see this one or this object is also a kula but this type is called Ma'anchit and again it is described as Ma'anchit im Shibin a mixed Ma'anchit Kula so these objects are um, duplicated as you see at the top and at the bottom this 
ones are called منفرت نتعويرة وي منفرت نتعويرة وي which means bands for armlets and anklets these two bracelets the first one was the red color here it's called سورت امحرست which means a bead bracelet of carnelian stone so this red stone is carnelian stone while this one Waj Mfkat, a steel shaped bead bracelet of turquoise. So these are bracelets. The hadrit, these two bracelets, as you see, are described within the text here with hadrit imnibu. As you see, this golden color is also present in this color. This one is wasakh color, but it's golden one, wasakh imnibu. A golden wasakh color, and this is ma'anchet ibn Nabu, a golden ma'anchet color. So these are the same armlets and anklets, but here they are in gold. We don't have to repeat that again. These sacks are described as mirunu hipsu, weaving of linen. These ones. This basin is described as sha'uti imbiya, a copper basin. Meanwhile, this object is described as Hasmin Imhaj, a silver natron sensor. This is a sensor. This object is described as A Imchit Imash, A Imchit Imash, which means a cedar wood sensor. Of course, they are used for fumigation. These are, you know, different types of sensor or sensors which means uh, incense the sixth side this one has the seven sacred oil jars the famous ones that are used in the opening mouth and eyes ritual and also were used in the mummification process they are mentioned with their known names Si, Heb, Heknu, Sefeth, Neghanim these two objects are described as Arif in Wajru, pack or packs of green eye pin. These packs contain green eye pin. The Kohl, you know that there are two types of Kohl in ancient Egypt, or famous two types the black one, which is called Miss Jemit or Miss Demit. And the green type, which is called Waj or Wajru. So, Arif in Wajru, pack of green eye paint. The last objects are mentioned with Wenkhui, and these two objects are two strips of cloth. But we should accentuate the fact that they were only used in wrapping the mummy or in mummification so this was the end of our video in this series of videos which will handle the ancient Egyptian inscription upon some of the masterpieces in the Egyptian Museum at Tahrir Square see you in another video